Hey guys and ladies, in this video what I'm going to show you how to do is how to accomplish a green screen effect using the 27 inch iMac and the Canon HF20. Now the 27 inch iMac has an LED backlit display making it a great choice to achieve the green screen effect. Now you could possibly use the LCD display but I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out so feel free to try that, make a video response, I would really love to check that out. But other materials that you can use to achieve a green screen is a bed sheet, a green bed sheet that you may have in your home, or you can go to Walmart and purchase a green poster board. Now other colors that you use for a green screen are blue and pink. Now I'm using iMovie to actually edit this video, so I'm not really sure if iMovie allows any other color than green to actually achieve the green screen effect, but just try to stick to green since that's the preferred color. Now the reason why I chose to use the iMac is because of course the LED backlit display and because of its screen size it gave me a lot of room to work with and the iMac would just be a really good choice for small devices such as this remote if I wanted to give the remote a some type of uh, green screen in effect. Now if you want to film your whole body I recommend using the other idea of a bed sheet or a poster board. Now there are online kits that you can use but they are fairly expensive so just try to stick to certain devices or materials that you already have in your home which I'm trying to do now. Now in a later video I will probably try to film my whole body and just seeing how that turns out with the Canon HF20 but without further ado let's just go ahead and jump in and get started and I might try to keep this one video but it might turn out to be two videos so we'll just see how it goes so let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so before I show you my video I made with the green screen effect, I just want you to know that I only have been using this for about a day now, but the quality wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, but it's good enough that it should give you a good example that you can use the iMac for a green screen, but I just recommend if you really want that professional result just to play around with iMovie and the green screen just to see what uh, positions and what lighting gives you the best result. So just keep that in mind and I hope you enjoy this next video. Introducing the iPhone. If I want to take pictures, there's an app for that. If I want to record videos, there's an app for that. If I want to play video games, there's an app for that. Even if I want to jailbreak my iPhone, there's an app for that. There's simply nothing that the iPhone cannot do. Now the first thing you want to set up is the actual tripod which is going to set right in front of the, the monitor and it's just going to hold the camera for whatever device or material you're trying to give a green screen effect. Alright so now I have the Canon HF20 on a tripod and as you can see you can see some of the bottom of the monitor. Now that's the part that you don't want to see as that's not green you can't change the color of that. So what you want to do is just adjust your tripod a little bit and zoom in so you only see the background. And you can actually change the dock to hide, so you can actually have a little bit more room here. But as you can see, the only thing that you see is my actual background here. So the next thing that you want to set up is the actual light source for the device that you may be filming for the green screen. So if I'm filming the remote here, this lamp here is actually providing light for the remote. The display here already has enough light to create the green screen. So you can use two lights depending on how you want your light set up, but make sure that your lamp or whatever you're using is not creating a shadow on the screen as that's going to create a problem when you try to import it into iMovie and make the green screen. So that's the one key thing, making sure you don't have any shadows on the green screen. Alright, so the next thing that I need to do was create some kind of stand for the device that I was recording, which was the iPhone. So what I came up with, I just moved my keyboard out of the way and I got a couple of old college books and just started to stack things on top of each other until I got it to the right level to where the iPhone was standing directly in the middle of the screen. So just using a couple of boxes that I had in my closet and to top it off I wanted to white little type shelf that it looked like the iPhone was on. So I just took a white box that was actually in my 27 inch iMac box. So after that I just put the iPhone dock on top of that and all I need to do is just adjust the camera which I'll show you here in a moment. Alright so with my camera back in front of the monitor I just needed to figure out where exactly I needed to zoom in. 
So the only thing that I want to be showing is the white box in the dock. So I just zoomed in to where I thought it should be. Then I just took my iPhone, put it on the dock, and see if I needed to adjust the camera anymore. And just zoom back in, just put it in different positions depending on how I wanted to record it. Now the next thing we need to do is just adjust our lighting and to adjust the background so it's just purely green. Now for the lighting, it, again, it depends on how exactly you want to record this. Now I'm just going to take the lamp, move it around here. And as you can see, you don't want the light here as the lamp will be showing in the green screen when you actually record it. And you can crop the green screen, but you really don't want the lamp here. And then here it's on the iPhone. Then over here it's on the right side. Then trying to put it on the bottom, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out where exactly you want to put the light. So you just have to play around with it. I had it just actually on the side, but enough where the light was actually shining on the iPhone. Just to give the, the iPhone a little bit more light to it. So just play around with the lighting. It might take you a little time to figure out what, what positions are the best. But again, I really probably recommend using two uh, light sources. One on the left side, one on the right side just to uh, balance out the light. So now let's just show you how to actually change the background on the 27 inch iMac. All right, so first we just need to create a green wallpaper. And I'll include this green wallpaper as you see here on my desktop on my canon.robertdashmiff.net website and just link you directly to it so you can download it. So once you download that to your desktop or to your iMac somewhere, all we need to do now is just go into system preferences open that up then next go into desktop and screen saver just click on this icon here and then you'll see a couple of folders that appear now if you don't see desktop here or the folder that your uh, picture you just downloaded to is not showing here just click on this add button you can actually scroll uh, browse to it and add that directory to your available desktop or wallpapers so I just click on desktop since that's where my current wallpaper is and then just click on the green wallpaper here. And as you can see, it changes my whole background to green. Now for me, this was enough space to do exactly what I needed to do. But if you need more space, such as you don't need this dock here, you need this room here, you can simply go up here to the Apple icon here and click on dock and just click on turn hiding on. Then you scroll back, as you can see, the dock is gone and if you just scroll your mouse to the bottom, the screen, the dock reappears. So there are other methods that you can probably just make this whole screen here green, but for me, it's, I just really needed the middle space, so it really just depends on what exactly you are filming. So hopefully that explains how to change the wallpaper on a Mac, if you didn't know how to do that already.